Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have another very, very interesting question from quadratic equations. The given equation is x plus 1 whole square plus 2x plus 1 whole square plus 3x plus 1 whole square up to 11x plus 1 whole square equal to 121 x square. We have to find out values of x. So let's get started. By applying x is equal to 0 to this equation. So I will begin from here. 0 plus 1 whole square 1. 2 times 0 plus 1 whole square 1. 3 times 0 plus 1 whole square 1. In last bracket I will write 11 times 0 plus 1 whole square 1. Left hand side we have in total 11 onces. So LHS is 11. Now the turn of RHS. 121 times 0 is square. So RHS will be 0. 11 is not equal to 0. Conclusion from here is x cannot be 0. So we can divide this equation by x square. x square. So RHS we can cancel x square with x square. LHS I will be writing x plus 1 over x whole square plus 2x plus 1 over x whole square plus 3x plus 1 over x whole square dot 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 and last bracket I will be writing 11x plus 1 over x whole square equal to 121. Now I will divide. So I can write, let me write once x plus 1 over x whole square plus 2x plus 1 over x whole square. Last term I will be writing 11x plus 1 over x whole square equal to 121. Let's divide. So I will write 1 plus 1 over x whole square plus 2 plus 1 over x whole square. Third bracket if I will write then 3 plus 1 over x whole square and last bracket will give us 11 plus 1 over x whole square and RHS is 1 2 1. Now let us consider 1 over x is equal to a. So I can write our equation. This will be a plus 1. This will be a plus 2 and whole square. Let me write a plus 1 whole square plus a plus 2 whole square a plus 3 whole square a plus 11 whole square equal to 121. Now I will expand. So I will be writing here a plus 1 whole square. This is equal to a square plus 2a times 1 plus 1 square. a plus 2 whole square equal to a square plus 2a times 2 plus 2 whole square. So on, if I will write the last bracket, a plus 11 whole square, then this will give us a square plus 2a times 11 plus 11 square. Now I will add. So left hand side will give us 121. Right hand side. How many a squares we are having here? So it is total 11. So I will be writing 11 a square plus 2 a in bracket 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 
up to 11. And in last bracket, we can write 1 is square plus 2 is square plus 3 is square up to 11 is square. So we have to ultimately find out the sum of n natural numbers formula and sum of squares of natural numbers. These two formulas we will apply. We will get our answer. Let me write here. 121 equal to 11a square plus 2a times. I can write here 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 11. And in last bracket, I will be writing 1 square plus 2 square up to 11 square. Now I will write the sum of natural numbers. So let me write here 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 11. This is nothing but sigma 1 to 11 n. As per formula, it is n n plus 1 over 2 where n is 11. So I can write here 11 times 12 over 2. Now I will calculate 1 square plus 2 square up to 11 square. Formula is n n plus 1 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So let's apply n is equal to 11. 11 times 12 times 23 divided by 6. Now I can cancel 6 and 12 by 2. So it will become 46 times 11. Now we have to apply both the values to our equation. Let's apply these values here. So I can write our equation as 11a square plus 2a times 11 times 12 divided by 2 plus 46 times 11 equal to 121. Now equation is divisible by 11. Let's divide and cancel this 2 with this 2. So I will divide by 11 a square plus 12a plus 46 equal to 11. Or I can write a square plus 12a. 46 minus 11, it would be 35 equal to 0. Now I will use quadratic formula method. So I can write here a equal to minus b, so minus 12 plus minus under the root. b square is 12 square 144 minus 4ac, 4 times 1 times 35, so 140 divided by 2a, so 2, which will give us negative 12 plus minus square root 4 divided by 2 which will give us further minus 12 plus minus 2 divided by 2. So I can write this will be minus 12 plus 2. So minus 10 over 2, minus 5. Minus 14 over 2, minus 7. This is the value of A. Now we have to calculate X. And our substitution was 1 over x equal to a. So I can write from here x will be equal to 1 over a. So x will become minus 1 over 5 and minus 1 over 7. So here we have the final solutions. Final answer negative 1 by 5, negative 1 by 7. And this brings the end of the video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.